Right, yo, my low ELO king and queens, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to go for the little purple man that I simp the most, Vega. As you can tell by the leaderboard, guys, it is a fantastic match, of course, as always, S tier Vega when we have a performing team behind me. So, no longer me jibber jabbering, let's get straight into the gameplay, guys. So, as you can see, the enemy team has a Nazus, Yi, Ari, Jin, Lux. Sometimes when you go against an Ori in mid against Vega, it can be nothing but bad, 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 bad juju, absolute bad juju. But as you can tell from the leaderboards on that last little slide part of the video, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. It doesn't end well for Ari. It doesn't. It really doesn't. Enemy team already pinging, saying, Yee's like, where's my leash, man? Where's my leash? As if no one's supporting you, boy, Yee, like that. That's disgusting. That is not nice, is it, guys? That is not nice. So the thing to remember the most about Vega, guys, is there's nothing more important than getting those stacks up. So getting those AP stacks up um, to make sure that your late game is just boom. The damage is just amazing. You probably will see a bit that I fail with my first and my second. I'm still learning to get those stacks and that last hit. Um, every time I think I've got it, it just goes out the window. Let's see what's going on here in bot lane. Not much going on in terms of a fight. It is just back and forth with the minion wave. We do manage to get a little bit of a last kill there on the minion to get some stacks, boys. I don't think there's actually any way of me telling you how much stacks I actually get, is there? No, there is. There, there we go. We've got four stacks. So we'll keep it on that screen. You can see throughout the game how many stacks I do get. Um, it looks like I am rotating down to bot to help try and get somewhat of a kill. Best time to invade is when you've got your third ability, just because that's done. So another little trick with Vega is that if you pop your third and that person runs into the barrier of your third if you auto cast your second ability it will auto lock and hit them um i'm not too sure how it handles with multiple uh, targets in that circle but as long as it's one target and they're stunned it is a it is a, it's a guaranteed hit it's a guaranteed hit so ari gets the stun there boom as you can see auto spam with the third the second ability there on the third and it does go straight on ari's head just doesn't kill her she is one it's one level higher than me again i'm missing out on all these beautiful juicy stacks right now double kill from sona i do have to give you a little footnote here on the this video that this sona was mental guys absolutely right so we just ping back to get some sort of item let's check what we got so obviously we just not even got a full item yet my first item to go to with vega is always luden's echoes guy uh just because it sends off those little to do extra damage technical term is the badoop doop uh, we do see ye going for rift herald here uh lux is down in dual lane all around but it looks like ye is going to get a gank possibly he's possibly setting up a gank here a desu ganky let's see how many stacks i've got so far guys so we're going on to 21 stacks so last time we checked we're on four now we're on 21 another bonus another brucey bonus on vega is that if you get a kill i don't know if it just i do have to test this i don't know if it's just with ultimate but if you get a last hit with ultimate you get five stacks instead of one i don't know if it just happens to be any ability of his boom sona with another kill it is mental i don't know how i managed to get 11 kills here with sona she just seemed to just tear it all up we do see ye there double kill from ari as well this ari is shredding up but just not as good as she should be so we do manage to stun the uh boom on the Jin. first kill on Jin there it's unfortunate we didn't manage to get the kill on uh ari as well if i had my proto belt i probably could have killed ye here as well ah oh, so unfortunate but if you look at you if you look at my stacks now it's gone from 21 to 35 so a good 14 stacks quickly earned by yourself so both dragon and rift herald have spawned now we see jacks circling around the dragon we weren't aware but obviously there is two wards there it looks like ari is making her way back down to dragon again maybe rotate back onto duo lane again we'll see i'm just pushing the tower here let's have a look what's happening 
Yep, it looks like Red Team is looking to go for the Dragon. Jax catches wind of it. Yi does manage to put a ward there to stop any sort of gank. Sona's going in. She gets charmed by Ori. It doesn't look well for her here, but she managed to get a lot of he healing. A lot of healing. Boom. There we go. Another kill on Yi. Fantastic. Me and Jack sticking together like glue. I have literally no mana though, so it's probably best I do recall here. Because a Vega with no mana is a Vega that can't help or get stacks. Right, let's tune into a duo lane here. So it looks like some zesty plays might go along here with Ari circling around. So we've got Ari, Jin, and Lux in duo lane. Ari looking to come around the back of the tower here. She charms the uh, Sona. Sona gets killed by Ari. That was a good charm there. Double kill from Ari. Here I go. All on my own. I get stunned by both Lux and Ari. But I do manage to get the kill on Ari there as well. Due through to the tower and the third stun. Nice. He's coming for a bit of sexy, sexy time with me. But I do put the stun there. Boom. Just work some damage away at him. So if he does try and come into the tower, it's not looking good to him. But obviously, they are taking the tower here. I managed to get out when I can. Looks missing me with that first ability. If she hit me with that first, it would have been over. But luckily, little purple legs managed to get out of there. A bit late on that third there for myself. I'm going back for a bit of health and a bit of mana there from that fruit. Both Lux and Jin are recalling, trying to get another item maybe. Let's see how many stacks I'm on now, guys. I am currently spectating them. So I'm on 61 stacks. I have built my Ludens and I have built I have built Lucidity Boots. And we see Yi trying to take the dragon again. So we do go for the invade. Ari with this charm. She is deadly with this charm, guys. Try to get that stun. Oh my days. With the ult. With the ult. I flashed in there. Managed to get the kill on Ari. Nice. Do we secure the dragon here? Yes, we do. Because Jax is there with the smite securing the dragon. It looked like it could have been trouble there with Jin's ultimate. But he didn't do much good. Ah, Beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is our first tower taken as well in mid. Ah, oh, not quite. Not quite. Ari rushes in there. We see Yi looking to go against this Vayne to try and get a cheap kill on Vayne here. Will it work? Yi going in on the tower. He flashes in on Vayne. No, Vayne gets a kill. That was a bit stupid. He should have peeled away. Even I could have saw that played out. And it weren't going to play out well for him. So Ori is attacking our mid lane, unfortunately. Jack's looking to go in with a gank. He stunned. No, he doesn't stun. He waits for that charm to go off. He just manages to let her escape. But no, jumps in and gets her under the tower. Nice. We can easily take this tower here. I'm like, yo, chill, 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 Jin. Chill, Jin. I want this tower. Give me my tower now. Did we get Rift or did they get Rift? Can't quite remember. Ally Schleen. Ally Rick James. So Trindamir got slain by Nazus. You don't really see Trindamir and Nazus until real late game. Helping any sort of team fights. Are we here taking out my vision how dare she let her know that i can see her i see you boo boo jacks here with ari ari looking to go and help nazis with that duo lane jacks intercepts but jumps on the fruit but the tower goes down we do see trindamir and myself rotate round do we get some sort of kill here are we going in on both trindamir i do get the stun on ari and help trindamir with the kill and i do get the kill on nazis nice teamwork there guys Looks of a random ultimate. I'm pretty sure that didn't even touch me. No, nope. <laughs> didn't even touch me. And I went, you know what? I'm going to go and activate Jin's uh, trap anyway. Fucking on. Let's see what's happening down in mid lane since there's nothing going on. A double kill in mid lane. Nice, Vayne. Will we see a triple kill? Not quite. Not quite. So we did get Rift Herald and it has been popped in mid lane. I think your boy Jax totally forgot that he had it. And we all know how good Jax is at taking towers. 
just that smashing staff. Imagine if he had a real weapon, guys. So we've taken all the terrors in mid. We are straight to the inhibitor. We even take damage on the inhibitor as well. We do see a cheeky little looks here. Boom! With the first ability, we get the kill on looks. Nice. Oh, both Ari and Nazus here. Oh, and got killed by Yi. Unfortunate. Let's see what's happening here with our dual lane. Are we going in here with a dash? Doesn't quite get it. She gets stunned by Sona. She manages to escape, but then Vayne gets it with the DOT. Nazis is going under the tower. Looks with the ult, but he manages to steal the kill there. Relentless, relentless. Again, we pop Rift Herald in mid. We are doing some serious damage to their tower here. There goes the inhibitor, hopefully. So we managed to take the middle inhibitor here with a Rift Herald. There is a fight going on with Dragon, and the red team managed to slay the Ocean Dragon. Trindamir was going in there. He was in the thick of it, but manages to Beyblade out of it. Jin with the ultimate, looking to get the kill here. Jax is tanking both Nazas and Yi. Gets the kill on Nazas here. I get charmed by... Oh, no, he gets charmed by Ari. I'm looking to try and make as much damage on this year as possible. Yi going back in on the Trindamir. Trindamir has gone unkillable. Sona gets the kill on Yi. And Lux manages to... Oh, ho, ho, ho. she gets greeted by my ultimate as soon as she comes out of her status. And a double kill there for your boy Blam. I'm pretty sure I got that second kill there with Proto Boots. And it is an ace claimed by your boy Blam. Much appreciated by my Lamb Jam. So the entire enemy team are dead. So the next... Actually, no. Nazis should just come back in time. We've managed to stun Nazis here. I'm not too sure why we why Trindamir is down in bot lane. I'm pretty sure he could have finished here. If my team just walk in and finish, we could do easily. But they're just not doing it. We managed... Oh, no. Bane got the kill there on Nazis. Who dare he? So come on, guys. Just literally love tap it. It's got 606 health. It's going to keep going up until you go in there. Again, another low ear, low play. Trindamir taking bot lane when we don't need it. If we had Trindamir's attack damage on that Nexus there, we would have won. But for some reason, he thought, no, let's go and take another turret because I'm Trindamir. Look at my edgy blade. Ooh. So it's been a full respawn time and the game's still not over. I am now back. The game's still not over. It looks like we're going to need another team fight, guys. As you can see, we are 10k gold difference. We are double the kill difference. Both of the dragon each, and we have three more towers than the enemy team. A quick update on my stacks. You can see that I've gone from the last time we checked. I think I had 35. <laughs> we haven't been checking them recently, but I am now 143 stacks. So plenty of AP, guys. Here go for, going with the third, with the second, with the ultimate, finishing off the Yi here. Again, with the second, with the first, double kill people, boy Blam. With the proto boots, we get... Oh, Trinomir takes it. But I managed to get a double kill on Nazus. And we get the thumbs up, boys. So that is a team wipe again from your little purple man with the little purple hat and the fat stacks. Just go in. Just go in. Take the tower. We're here to support you, Jax. <laughs> Jax dies to the Nexus. But it is a fat dub, guys. GG. That is how you play Vega. As usual, guys, if there is any questions you have about my build, my play style, my combos, um, anything like that, drop it in the comment section below. Here we go. So your boy Blam with the top damage, considering we had a Vayne, we had a Jax jungle and a Trindamir. Vega coming out on top with the most damage by at least 2k um, gold difference. Obviously, I have more gold than the jungle as well. Vega is a fantastic pick for mid. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Help me out by putting a like or even better yet, if you're new here, dropping a sub. We are almost at 200 subs. It'd be fantastic to get to that 200 mark and then smash it all the way up to a thousand as our first milestone. So take it easy, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video and catch you on the next one.